Another favorite story of my, my friends kind of like to hear about my little disasters in life. And I was working in this factory. It was the, the plant my dad worked at as an engineer. How and old I had were a, you? I was probably about the same age, 19. And uh, I had a job uh, bailing scrap paper. They, it was a printing. They printed milk cartons and all the scrap paper got blown into this room. And uh, then I would use a hand rake and, and put it in a big pit baler, you know, rake it into a pit and then it'd come up in a vise and put wraps around it. And I was uh, working night shift because I wasn't, they had one old guy that was uh, doing it forever and he knew what he was doing and he tried to train me, but I was evidently untrainable because I had all kind of problems with broken bales and they'd fall off the cart and so I was working night shift and they had some other guys working day shift, but they could only, they'd only get like one week out of these people and they quit. And I couldn't quit because it was my dad's plant, you know. So I'm out of there and I, I had a, a tow motor. If I dropped a bale or something, I could use the tow motor. Plus I could use it to go up to the cafeteria when lunchtime came and whatnot. So I parked the thing, you know, I'm in there bailing and I look out and I see smoke. And I look over, and the tow motor is on fire. And uh, I'm running around because I was so behind, you know, I couldn't, there was no fire extinguishers open real close, and finally found a fire extinguisher. By this time, some other people had seen the smoke, and they're, they're kind of running around behind me. I grab this fire extinguisher, and I'm running back to the tow motor, and I hear it, and it hot-wired itself. And, of course, I left it in first gear. It just took off <laughs> in a paper plant, mind you, <laughs> and just bashed into a big thing of cardboard cores and then ran into the bales and was stuck there burning. And I was able to get the fire out. But uh, So your dad was proud of you for putting out the fire? Well, yeah. I, I even had my own nickname uh, from the maintenance department called me the Wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of that story. <laughs>